many people have different perception about fitness like some perceive fitness as having a big muscle size like having a bulky looking body uh, some perceive fitness as having a lean muscular body in females uh most of the time it is noticed that if they are slim like they have a lean and a slender body then they perceive it as being fit so all this uh can you know it comes under the category of aesthetic appearance now um some people who engage into uh, exercises like um, walking uh, jogging running uh, going for swimming cycling dancing then when they go to the gym they engage into uh, uh workouts on the elliptical cross trainer then rowing uh skipping okay all of that so all this uh comes under the category of cardiovascular endurance so some people if they engage into these uh activities or the workouts they perceive it as being fit okay any form of exercise if they are doing that means they are working on their fitness so that is a uh, cardiovascular endurance then there are people who perceive fitness as when they work out in the gym doing a lot of weight training or they are doing resistance training body weight exercises okay then they perceive it as being fit so this comes under the component of fitness which is muscular strength and muscular endurance see many people different people have different perception about fitness and that's what i am talking about so some people who engage into um workouts like they do stretching uh, and they concentrate on the breathing okay then like yoga okay for example uh, then they consider it as fitness so stretching okay i would say concentrating on your flexibility okay and so these are all the perception of people okay about fitness so i'll explain about the concept of fitness by stating some examples now uh, a man okay he has a good looking body like uh, he has big muscle size you can say uh, okay he has a bulky looking body now this man is uh, going to the gym uh and the gym is on the fourth floor of the building so he walks towards the gym uh but the lift of that building is under maintenance now this man has to use the staircase of the building to go to the gym so he walks okay he climbs the staircase and he completes uh the second floor as soon as he completes the second floor he starts breathing heavily and he is feeling a little tired 
so he takes a little gap few seconds of gap rest and then he again climbs the third and the fourth floor so when he completes the fourth floor he is panting and he is exhausted and tired and the reason is because no doubt he has gone to the gym regularly and he has worked out uh, on the weight training and his workouts he's got a good looking body okay he's concentrated maybe on his strength so looking good aesthetic appearance no doubt is there but the man he lacks on cardiovascular endurance because he has not worked on that component of fitness he has not done any exercises that will help him work on his cardiovascular endurance and that's the reason when he is climbing staircases to go to the gym he is unable okay to cope up unable uh, uh, you know in doing that task very smoothly and that's the reason he is panting and he feels exhausted tired so this is a component of fitness so by these examples we'll get an understanding about the true meaning of fitness so the true meaning of fitness is being able able to complete a task so fitness is task specific remember this you should be able to complete your daily life activities very smoothly um and any task that you come across in your day to day life like for this man to climb the staircase it should be completed very smoothly without any fatigue okay now some more examples i can mention that's how we'll understand that we need to concentrate on all the components of fitness now a man he has a you know a lean body okay lean muscular body and he's also very particular about his uh, exercises and regular workouts so this man he goes when he goes to the gym he is uh, you know doing walking running on the treadmill uh, he is using the elliptical cross trainer he is doing rowing and he is doing uh, all of the you know cardio based exercises so this man uh, never gets into the uh, strength areas weight section of the strength area of the gym he is concentrating on his fitness and he is doing all his cardio vascular endurance based exercises when he doesn't go to the gym he is uh, working out outdoor with activities like cycling he goes for swimming he goes uh, jogging uh, okay all of that trekking so he is physically a uh, very uh, active person in working on his fitness now this man uh, his father has uh, fractured his leg okay and uh, he is not able to move around and do his daily life activities so he is dependent on his son now his son has to lift him and help him to complete you know small daily life uh, activities now this man is not able to help his father he tries to help him in lifting him and he has no um nobody to help him okay no assistance but he struggles but he is unable to do so and that's because he has not worked on his strength this man has weak back muscles and weak core weak arms and therefore he is not able to complete this task this same man when he goes um with a companion okay for a drive and unfortunately 
this uh, car breaks down now they have to head to the service station which is very near you can say around it must be around 200 meters away now he just has to push that car okay and get it running and take it to the uh, service uh, station but he is unable to complete this a very basic task that they they have encountered in their daily life so again he has to de be dependent on somebody else to do his work to complete that task and the reason because he has not worked on his muscular strength okay in the gym but he has only worked on his cardiovascular endurance so no doubt he has good endurance but he lacks strength but this man has perceived his fitness goals as i am engaging into some physical activity and i am fit a young lady okay everybody around her okay perceives um, herself okay even she thinks that she is fit because she is slim okay she is uh, lean and slender looking okay so aesthetic appearance is good everybody perceives her as she is fit this lady uh, carries her baby her baby weighs around 15 kgs so she has to carry her baby in her baby carrier and she carries her baby for around 15 to 20 minutes but after that she cannot continue and her back begins to pain uh, she has to depend on somebody else then to carry her baby and the reason is because this young lady has weak core muscles and weak back muscles and that's the reason she is not able to take that weight okay on the anterior part of her body she is not able to carry her baby and so she has to depend on somebody else so that's the reason fitness again is not about aesthetic only about aesthetic appearance but it is you should be able to complete a given task it is again task specific if you are a young mother this young lady but is not able to lift her baby for a prolonged period of time then she has to consider herself that she is unfit in completing that task now uh, there is a lady uh, she is a homemaker and uh, she is working in the kitchen so there is a container heavy container that she has to lift and keep it on top in the storage shelf she is unable to do so in lifting that uh, you know container and keep placing it on top and so she has to depend on somebody else to complete that task and the reason is because she has stiffness in her shoulder and weak upper back muscles but this lady is particular about her fitness okay she is concerned about her fitness and she goes for long walks maybe she goes for 45 minutes of walking exercise daily but she is unable to complete this very basic task in uh, lifting something heavy and keeping it on top so again fitness is task specific you need to be able to complete a given task the same lady uh, has a, a foldable bed at home so every morning when she wakes up she has to lift that bed and fold it now again she is unable to do so and so she has to depend on somebody else at home 
to complete this task because weak back muscles and weak arms and weak core so again i repeat fitness is about not only about you know engaging yourself into an exercise or physical activity like she is going for walks for 45 minutes one hour of daily walks but you should be able to put your body to use your bo- body should be useful dependency on somebody else to complete your task should be avoided so that's that's what is fitness body should be useful now that's the reason when people okay train under me i concentrate on fitness they should be able to complete their daily life activities very smoothly without the dependency on anybody else to complete their tasks and also anything that they encounter in their day to day life like the examples that i mentioned they should be able to complete that and fitness okay is task specific and it's very subjective to every individual like we train people as a personal trainer in the gym for gpp gpp is general physical preparedness now it uh, this gpp it, it applies to general population uh, i'm not uh, including you know um, athletes are not included in this because they have a totally different set of targets specific to their sport so i'm talking about general population who want to be fit and uh, you know do who come to the gym so their workouts are designed in such a way that we concentrate on gpp which is general physical preparedness they should be able to complete any activity or task very smoothly so i'll be talking more about this gpp in my upcoming videos so remember that head to the gym with only one thing in your mind with only one aim and target and that is gpp okay concentrate on your fitness your body should be useful and you should be able to put it to use and aesthetic appearance will be the by product of it so don't only concentrate on being thin and looking good or having big muscle size bulky body or having lean slender body lean muscular body just sum this up that fitness is being able to complete a specific task it is task specific you need to put your body to use